News on the March. January 1942. The United States is only two months into the war, and American scientists have already discovered a way to defeat Hitler's armies. Dr. Steele, our greatest lady physicist, has found the key to time travel and victory over the Axis. This has been News on the March. Well, Dr. Steele, we've sunk a lot of money into this project. You'd better hope this works, for all our sakes. Major Creed, the time machine has worked perfectly on every test. Time to take the plunge. Just one question. Who shall we bring back from the future? That's the one thing we can't control. The system isn't precise enough to target a single person. But we can choose the time. We will bring back someone from 2013. A year far enough in the future that our short-term future will be their past. So they'll be able to tell us exactly what we need to do to win the war. I see. Calibrating quantum chronometers for 2013. Initiate time clock! My God. We've done it. We've done it. Oh, man. Where am I? Son, what's your name? Uh, Matt? <laughs> Still a bit woozy, eh, son? Well, listen. You have the opportunity to help your country and save the world. We brought you back in time to tell us everything you know about World War II so we can end it more quickly and save millions of lives. Okay. <laughs> so? Uh, tell us everything you know, son. Okay, um... World War II. <laughs> oh, man. That's a tough one. I think, uh... Oh. No, wait. Uh, I think he must be intimidated. Maybe he's not sure we're who we say we are. Clever boy. Yes. Son, just relax. And tell us everything you know about World War II. Okay, um... Is that the one with the hats? What the hell? Uh, oh, World War II is the one with Hitler, right? Yes, good. Now, how do we stop Hitler's armies? Okay, World War II, uh, let me think. Uh, oh, wait, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I do know what to do. Good man, go on. Okay, okay. When you get to the first checkpoint with the machine gun nest, you grenade it, run down that hallway thing, cut right, then left, then left, left, right, then left, and then there'll be a tunnel. This is unbelievable. Shh, keep writing. Okay, when you get past the second door, hit your R button twice, tap your L, and then duck, because it is going to get crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you run out of ammo, remember the cheat code is give ammo. This is fantastic. How is it possible that your information is this detailed? His brain is probably more advanced thanks to wise investments in our educational system. Mm -hmm. yes. So when should this attack take place? D-Day. Very good. Much snappier and definitely more secretive than Massive Invasion of Europe Day. Well, do you remember anything else about the war? Oh, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, whatever you do, don't send all three Ryan brothers to the war. Because if you do, then you have to waste a whole bunch of your guys trying to save the last one. And one of those guys is a school teacher who's actually a great leader. I don't understand. Hey, Spielberg, man. He laid it all out. Well, well, well what about our landing points? Look at the strategic map. Do you recall anything that may help with the attack on Fortress Europe? Whoa. This map with all the plastic dudes on it. I've seen this before. Go on. Yeah. I remember something my dad taught me. The key is not trying to take Europe too early. You want to try to get in through Irkutsk, right up there in the corner. But you got to be wary of Kamchatka. And always remember, you need a lot of men and a little bit of luck. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, my dad kicked butt at risk. With this information, the war will be over by February. Huzzah! Sweet. You guys are totally going to pwn those zombies. You mean Nazis? Oh, yeah, those guys.
You're listening to The Irrelevant Show on CBC Radio 1 and Sirius Satellite 159.